This class is all about creativity. It's time for a creativity project to apply what you've learned so far. In this video, we're gonna go over explaining your creativity project, which is the mountain racer. In the previous project, you completed man walking around town, I also showed you how to create terrains. You're gonna use those skills to make your own mountain racer. So here's the assignment, create a terrain, paint a road, paint a terrain, paint trees, paint grass, and import standard assets. You can see I'm gonna start out here. I raised my edges. I made a little track. I painted some grass, I painted some trees, I added in a car. You can see me painting mud on the grass. Added in my car. And then this is what I have. And I have a, like a ramp that I can jump across here. So here's my little project just to show you. And let me zoom to my car. See my car is right here. And if you look around, you see I have grass painted. I have trees everywhere. There's my ramp over there. So let's actually play this. Let's press play. to get to the ramp. My ramp is this way. See if we can build up enough speed to make. You can see I crashed, but that's, you get the point. Just, just really quickly review for terrains. When you're painting trees, let me show you how to add in a tree. So with your terrain selected, click on paint trees, make sure you click on edit trees, select add tree. And I'm going to add all the different type of trees. These are imported from standard assets. So here's one tree here. Double click on that. I'm going to click on add. Edit tree, add tree. Here is a second tree. Click on add, click on edit, add tree. Scroll down, there is two other trees. Here's a palm tree. Click on add. And there's one other tree that's included inside of standard assets. And it's not those, it is right here, conifer. So these are the four trees that you will add. And once you do, you can increase your brush size, your tree density. That's how many trees are we painted inside of. So right now my brush size is small, but if I did it really big and my density is there, let's just, so I can show you, I can start to paint that type of tree if I wanted. If I make the density less, you can see if I simply click, it's less trees. Or if I wanted to paint some palm trees and make my brush size smaller. And you can see I can use this. And again, you're just playing with this. 
and you can add trees wherever you want. What I would say do is you probably want to paint trees along the road. That way your car doesn't go flying off. It's kind of like guardrails. So I'll make this, let's say like 10. And like I'm just going to paint trees on the edge. That way the car cannot fly off the side. So this is kind of like guardrails. If I go over here and you see... So I'm using palm trees to kind of paint on the edge. That way when you're driving with your car, your car won't go flying off the side. So let me show you how to paint grass. Grass, same thing. Click on edit, add grass texture. You can see detail texture, it says none. I'm gonna click on this, scroll down. And I'm looking for grass right here. I'll click on add. There it is there. I'll add another grass texture. And that is this. Grass font, Alberto Alpha. And that's my grass. So here's the thing about grass. As you paint it, you'll see it when you're close, but when you get far away from it, you will not see it. And that's to save computer resources. Because think about it, each level of grass has a blade. So if you have a bunch of grass, it's going to take up a lot of resources. So I'm going to, again, I can also make my brush size smaller. Let's just make it, yeah, that's good. So you can see I paint it right there, but you can't see it. But if I scroll in, you can see the grass shows up. So that's one form of grass. And again, as you get closer, you can see it. But if I get far away, it erases because it's it doesn't make sense to just have grass complicating the scene. So as you get closer, you can see grass as you know, that's one part of grass. This is another side of grass and you can kind of see the difference. So one's like that, one's like that. So that's how you paint your trees and your grass. So when you're done, once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save and then turn it into your teacher.